weight. Durable. Stronger. Corrosion resistant. Superior performance. Rockwell International, where the best just got better. The leading supplier of ASAs in North America is pleased to announce a new generation of automatic slack adjusters. The new ASAs have many improved features, and just like the one it's designed to replace, it's available in handed and unhanded models in five, five and a half, six, six and a half, and seven inch sizes. While it's our best and most advanced ASA, the operating and maintenance procedures are unchanged from the previous design. You can find complete maintenance and installation procedures in Rockwell's video number 90234. You can see right away that its profile is smaller, and that means it'll fit on a wider range of applications. And by redesigning the housing and other internal components, we've created the lightest ASA in the industry. It's up to 17% lighter than previous versions, depending on the system model. And while it's more compact and lighter, Rockwell has designed the new ASA to make it stronger and provide maximum sealing to its internal components. Let's take a closer look at these features. In the previous design, the gear went full body width and was equipped with stainless steel side washers on both sides. They were retained with retainers on both sides. And the gear itself had two O-rings inside for sealing. With the new ASA, Rockwell engineers have developed a complete self-sealing system. We began by changing the through-type housing with one that has a blind or machined face on one side. We then added face seals to both sides of a new, stronger, and narrower width worm gear. This isolated the gear from external corrosion and contaminants. As a result, fewer parts are needed. Gone are the Teflon-coated O-rings from the gear, the stainless steel side washers, and the snap ring retainers. These advancements have made the new ASA less sensitive to external factors like dirt, paint, and corrosion. And what's more, it lowers internal torque, which provides consistent adjustment. Other sealing system features of the new ASA include a stronger boot material that's twice as thick, virtually eliminating perforations and a groove designed into the actuator rod to firmly lock in the upper portion of the boot. And a boot strap that uses the same color coding developed for earlier models to identify the ASA's piston type. These advancements add up to an ASA with a complete sealing system. The new ASA also has improved strength features. The worm shaft and gear have been redesigned with buttress type threads, ensuring maximum tooth contact and a 10% increase in strength where the load is applied. The buttress threads have been designed with increased angle or slope on the coast side of the gear teeth. This maximizes the load line so the teeth can accept more contact. And although stronger, the gears are significantly smaller and lighter, allowing the redesigned housing to fit on many more applications. So by using buttress threads and the smaller diameter gears, along with new face seals, the new ASA operates and maintains a lower operating torque. The worm gear continues to feature a center groove and lube holes to keep the gear and the camshaft splines lubricated at all times and prevent the boot from swelling because of over greasing. This applies to all spline configurations except the 10 splines. The new ASA also features a threaded clevis which has been made standard by most OEMs and replaces the quick connect type. This ensures positive engagement with the air chamber push rod so components are less likely to wear over time. Remember, worn components can add to your free stroke. Rockwell has also designed a hex end onto the large clevis pin in place of the previously used round-ended pin. And this lets you get your wrench onto the clevis end for removal should corrosion of the pin be a factor. And we've updated the bushing by changing to a material that will help prevent corrosion and provide extended life. After all, minimizing the wear on the bushing helps you in the overall stroke of your brake. Another significant improvement is the new pull-type pawl. It's been designed to simplify de-adjustment procedures. In previous models, 
you'd have to remove the pawl entirely to de-adjust or back the brake off. With Rockwell's new pull pawl design, the pawl stays in place at all times, preventing any contamination from getting into the slack housing. Let's look at an adjustment procedure. To de-adjust or back off the brake, Pull the pawl out far enough to insert a screwdriver or other metal surface between it and the casing. Then, turn the adjusting nut a quarter turn at a time to de-adjust the brake. At this point, you can install new brake linings or perform other service procedures. Once you're finished, make sure to readjust the brakes for proper operation. When the adjustment is made, take out the screwdriver and the pawl automatically re-engages. It's that simple. Just remember, when tightening or adjusting your brakes, you don't have to worry about the pawl. But if you need to de-adjust or back off your brakes, you must pull the pawl out before turning the adjusting nut. If you don't, damage can occur to slack adjuster components. Well, that about wraps up this look at the new Rockwell ASA. Just remember, as you see them on more tractors, trailers, and straight trucks, you'll know that these automatic slack adjusters have been designed for strength and toughness and engineered for ease of maintenance and service. At Rockwell, we've worked hard to make it that way. As a matter of fact, you'll find as you work with Rockwell drivetrain system components that improvements are an ongoing process. Working closely with you, we go that extra mile to make sure our products keep getting better. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.